this is the first thing that comes up when you type in gay tests. Scientists define sexuality as a spectrum that covers a wide range of sexual preferences. Many people don't ever find out their true sexuality until they're in their 30s. Holy moly, I got a few more years till I find this one out. But today, today my friends, we will take the test and find out. I'm excited. Are you? Yes. I'm excited. Let's get a prediction, chat. What are we thinking, gay? <laughs> Before we start, you know, this sexuality is is not determined by a test. So this is just for fun. And uh, it's something I've always wanted to know. So let's find out, man. Let's let's take the gay test. Okay, dude, what, why do I got a fucking cigarette ad or whatever the f*** that is? You're probably straight or gay. Good, good call, bro. Oh, oh my God. Oh! All right. Why am I taking this test? Check out gay I am to make sure I'm straight just to have fun. Sometimes I have fantasies about the same sex. <laughs> I think the first one, I guess, would make the most sense to me. Okay. Dude, these ads are cringe. <laughs> have you ever looked at somebody of the same sex and felt attracted in a sexual way? Never. I am not gay at all. <laughs> Well, if I click this, I'm gonna get not gay, but that's the answer. Uh, truthfully, I've never had a, a same-sex crush. Besides, uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds count? I, th I think Ryan Reynolds is just superficial. He's his own sexuality. I'm a Ryan sexual. All right, if your best friend confessed to you that he's gay, you would feel delighted. Welcome Bruh. them to the club. What? Dude, this test sucks. This test sucks. It's just so blatant. Make a joke about it, get excited and start flirting. I would get excited and start flirting with him slash her. What? Have you ever worn or fantasized about wearing the clothes of another? <laughs> you know my I've worn like my ex's clothes as a joke. There is um, a video of me wearing her clothes. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go with number two sometimes. <laughs> How frequent are your same sex sexual fantasies? Never. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I've ever had one. If there were no people left in the world except for you and someone of the same sex, you would be happy as no one would ever flirt with my man slash woman. Be disappointed that you are losing out on the other sex. Fall into despair as you will never have a sexual partner again. Who said anything about there being no more sexual partners? I, I don't see that in this question. <laughs> I'll go with number two. Okay. Have you ever kissed someone of the same sex? Yes, I do it all the time. Once or twice. No way I'm ever doing that. I've kissed many guys on the cheek. I don't think I've ever kissed anyone on the lips. I don't know. I, I think I'm comfortable enough that I would do it and feel nothing. So I I'm not I'm not even gonna click this. I'm gonna click once or twice. I'm gonna spice this bad boy up a little bit. Even though I haven't. Are you sure about that? That one said never. But if if I was like chilling with Ryan Reynolds and uh <laughs> If your partner offered you a threesome with someone of the same sex you would, feel excited, be confused, uh, never. See, that's where I would probably draw the line. I don't know if I would have a threesome with another dude. I think I've been offered this before. And I, I remember turning it down. I've still never had a threesome. Maybe one of these days it will happen, who knows. Yeah, I guess I'll have to click this one, never. Would you be comfortable with a gay colleague flirting with you? Oh, absolutely. I, it does depend on the situation though. I would say that, yeah, it does depend on the situation. Your friends decided to go party at a gay bar. You would feel like you're going home. <laughs> Let's go party. Get excited to check out a new venue. Feel threatened or uncomfortable. I feel like that, that would be uh, something to do if you're like fighting gay thoughts. Get secretly excited as you always wanted to check out a gay bar. I've been to a gay bar. I've been to a couple gay bars with, with women. <laughs> Fun, fun times. So, uh, I'll be excited to check out a new venue. Oh my god, my results are fucking in! Fellas, we made it! Oh my god, I'm bisexual! What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm bisexual? What the fuck? I, I, don't, I don't know if I like that quiz, bro. I don't know if I like that quiz. We're taking a different one. I'm more bisexual than I'm straight, dog. It literally asked, do you want to fuck another dude? And I said, no. How am I bisexual? <laughs> Hell. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was being, I wasn't taking it serious. We'll take, we'll do another one. We'll do another one. Okay. All right. Have you ever had feelings for the same gender? Nope, we're just friends. Have you ever kissed somebody or wanted to kiss somebody the same gender? Um, for the most part, I would say I'm not interested. Okay, we'll be honest. We'll be honest. We'll be honest. How do you feel about queer characters in TV shows and movies? Um, I've totally watched shows just for the queer ships. Um, I notice queer characters, but I don't feel strongly about them. I like the positive representation, but they don't stand out to me. Fair enough. I, I think I would say that. When someone asks who you're crushing on, um, I talk about someone of the opposite sex who I'm genuinely crushing on. Yeah, Jeanette McCurdy. Bro, I've been crushed on Jeanette McCurdy for years. She's so funny. Has anyone asked if you were gay all the time? Um, once or twice? I, I think I have to say that answer because the other one says people. Or do you guys do you guys just assume I'm gay? Is it the, you guys have to pick this one? Is it one or two? I see more twos than ones. <clears throat> uh, when you imagine being in a relationship, what do you picture? Um, <laughs> probably someone with the opposite sex. I can only, yeah, I'll say that one. How would you feel about identifying as gay? Um, I don't think that's me. I don't think so. Have you ever felt uh, attracted to someone of the same gender?
What? These are all, they all say yes. People of the same gender are objectively more attractive. No. Look, if I said nope, I'd be lying. Cause I, like I said, bro, Ryan Reynolds exists. I'm gonna say this one. Cause Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds exists. Uh, how do you feel about dating somebody the opposite gender? I'm not interested. That would feel like a chore. Uh, I definitely date or have dated somebody. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You gotta get the right woman. That's what I've noticed, man. My problem in the past, I'm gonna open up to y'all. I get, I get very, uh, I focus too much on looks and not too much, not enough on the personality. And, you know, the personality is arguably more important. Someone could be pretty and just be the shittiest fucking person ever. Not saying anyone I've dated has been shitty, but, um, there has been, you know, dates I've gone on where a, a girl is objectively hot and she is just a terrible person. So yeah, it, it, it just doesn't matter, man. None of that shit. I mean, it does matter. It obviously looks do matter to a, to an extent. Um, do I ever fantasize about being some, with somebody? Else? <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you imagine kissing or being intimate with a future partner, how do you feel? I'm too young for that. <laughs> that was a good, I guess. Last question. If you scroll through your feed or your For You page. Oh, little TikTok reference. You see content from queer creators. Um, I'm sure there is. <laughs> I'd say this, I guess. This should be the real result this time. So let's see. I will identify with whatever this says. Probably straight, okay? <laughs> probably straight. Not 100%, but I'm probably straight. I'm probably straight. It sounds like you're still into people with the opposite sex, but don't really relate to comic queer experiences. Sweet, sweet. I really want to take the asexual quiz, and then we'll be done with the like, sexuality quiz. I saw it on the side. We have to take it. Okay. How do you feel about physical touch and physical intimacy? Oh, bro. If it's the right girl, that shit is... Insane. Um, I wouldn't mind being physically intimate with my partner, but sometimes, like, if, if it's the wrong girl, I feel nothing. So it has, it has, it definitely has to be the right. Last time I had a crush on somebody, um, there was this, uh, girl who was a Twitch streamer, and this was, like, six, seven years ago. Uh, it was on someone, I sort of, yeah, I guess. When your friends point out someone who's attractive, I don't get it at all. I can see they're objectively attractive, but I don't feel attracted to them. I kind of get it. Uh, I totally get it. When other people talk about wanting to have sex, I don't see the appeal and find myself not wanting to discuss it. I feel neutral. That is a good answer. 10% is, is not accurate. I would say, like, 40%, but that is a, that, that, um, that's a good representation. Can you imagine, uh, when picturing a future relationship, I want to connect with my future partner, physically and emotionally. Nice. When your friends talk about their latest hookup or crush, how do you feel? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll support my boys. Does the idea of sex make you uncomfortable? Not really, I guess. If you could have a romantic relationship without sex, you would feel pretty pumped out, bro. Julian. Sorry, but no sex before marriage, Crispy. How does the idea of dating make you feel? I hate dating. I hate going on dates. Oh, what's your favorite color? Oh, what do you do for a living? Only interested in dating if there's a strong emotional bond? Probably. When someone asks who your celebrity crush is, I would say this though, I'm not like, I, even though I said that like six times today, I'm gonna say that. If someone asked for your number because they were attracted to you, how would you react? Um, let's go with that one. Um, why did you decide to take this quiz? And let's go with this for the final results. See if I'm asexual, fellas. Three, two, one. I'm probably not asexual. Just like I'm probably not straight. It seems like you fall on the spectrum where people experience sexual attraction. People are allosexual. Um, some people need different needs, different levels of emotional connection before they're comfortable with getting physical with somebody. Sexuality is uh a weird thing, isn't it, boys? Not weird. Sorry if that offends anybody. It's just like a interesting part of life. Hold up! I just want to say really quickly at the end of this video that these quizzes I took were only for entertainment purposes only, and uh, they obviously don't determine your actual sexuality. So I hope this video doesn't offend anybody that's either gay or asexual or anything like that. I am a full supporter of whatever you identify as. Whatever you feel in your heart, you be it. That's why I took these quizzes, because I don't know what I feel in my heart. <laughs> and for entertainment purposes only. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come check out the stream sometime. See you there.